2024 has not even begun yet, and it does seem like the presidential race is effectively frozen in place, if not over. We know who the candidates are. It's too late for another to get in. Some have already dropped out. But is it too late? Is there anyone in this country of 350 million people who could jump in at this late date and re-scramble the calculus of electoral politics? Well, there may be someone. And in fact, you already know him. You know his face. And the question is, will he get in this cycle? And that's my question for you. Well, that's really a decision for the people, Tucker. It's not something that I really think about or want to do. And Merry Christmas to you, too. But I've always believed that nothing should be off the table in life or in art. I think we could both agree that we need to get some adults back in the room. So if that means taking on the chief executive role, well, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for this great nation. Adults in the room. I love it. I could see there's a bumper sticker. Is that your campaign slogan? Well, that's not a bad idea. Look, I think first our country needs to stop apologizing and stiffen up. I mean, look, we've got so many people running around with so many different issues like gun control, important issue. But let's be honest. The truth is more people are killed by online trolls every day. That may be true, actually, but then they're protected by the First Amendment. They can say whatever they want. You believe in the First Amendment, I assume. Of course I do. Look, people spewing ridiculous ideas is nothing new, and they should always have that right. But the problem is, somewhere along the way, we started listening. And we should remember the salient words of Benjamin Franklin, who said, do not believe anything of what you hear and only half of what you see. And he wasn't telling people to stop talking. He was telling us to stop listening. So let's stop blaming bots and college kids and start telling leaders what leadership really means.